Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on working out the expected value given repeated trials. We have this problem here. The probability that a biased coin comes down heads is 0.6. If I throw the coin 200 times, estimate the number of times it comes down heads. Well, let's reflect on what a probability of 0.6 actually means. A probability of 0.6 as a percentage is 60%. And that's basically saying we expect the coin to come down heads 60% of the time. Now, if we throw the coin 200 times, we expect it to come down heads 60% of the time. And therefore, we can just find 60% of 200 to get an estimate of how many heads we'll see. We don't know we'll see that number of heads because we could throw the bias coin 200 times and we could get 200 heads. It's unlikely, but because the coin acts randomly, we could get zero heads, we could still get 200 heads. But we're most likely to see a head 60% of the time. And there's a formula we can use. So the estimate frequency is equal to the probability of that particular outcome times by the number of trials, the number of times in this case we're throwing the coin. So for this particular problem, we've got the probability, which is 0.6, and we're times it by the number of trials, the number of times we threw the coin was 200, and that gives us 120. So we expect to see a heads on the coin around 120 times. But as I said, because the coin is random, it could be a bit more than that, it could be a bit less than that. 